ties all jacked up. It's not good. My thesis hasn't changed. Every real estate agent needs to find the right fit. Weird day, weird start. I had to take Julian to school because his car is in the shop. Some fun excitement from Friday and Saturday that his car is being fixed. And my daughter is sick. Wife's home with her. Gotta get a little bit of work done. But this week is, is interesting. Could be a very good week, closing-wise. We're not really no huge events this week. Got some, like I said, closings, real estate work this week, um, office work. I might even bring you on a couple other appointments that I'm trying to set up some new listings, new buyer, just some, some like my inner circle people that happen to have some activity going on, but it's the last week of February. Let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome to 90 Seconds for Your Real Estate Career. Hope you've enjoyed this 90 seconds and we'll talk with you next time. Dad duties. Gotta go switch off the other parent so that I can watch the little girl for a couple hours so she can go to her office and get some stuff done. And after that, I got to, we, you, you and me, are going to run to a little showing appointment. Then got some other business, different business venture things tonight. Maybe I'll show you some night work. Downside of not having a videographer with me, like I used to, is I forgot to film the showing again. And there's even like somebody that I knew, like one of my me filming vacant building. It wasn't on my mind. The selling the client was on my mind. That sucks. Um, then I had to go. I, before that, I took care of the uh, little sick girl at home. Man, sanitize your hands. It's it's cold and flu season, plus coronavirus is floating out there somewhere. Had to go do that. Now picking up um, my other son whose car is in the shop. It's just kind of crazy. It's just kind of a crazy Monday. I, I will promise to try and remember to get some shots of the work I'm about to do. Well, this little time gap, but I'm about to go back and do some work right now. Oh. What time is it, Sean? Go home o'clock. That's not a time. 12.30. 12.30. It's 12.30. Finish up sound up meeting. We got a auxiliary sound up member. He's on the sound up board apparently now. <laughs> He's a sounding board. Tomorrow's a new day. Tuesday. See you then. So, kid's sick. That means vlog's gonna be limited. Remember when you were a kid and you always wanted a sick day? And now as a parent, it's not as fun. Because I have to, have to work from home. So, yeah. Oh, got my supplies. Parent supplies, parenting. And that sick mask, you know what I mean? You can't be too careful. I'm just joking. I just bought that more as a prop for anything. But uh, yeah, so dealing with that, working from home, computer stuff here, and not much to vlog. Doing the dad thing. You guys know how it goes this time of year. Maybe, maybe be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully. Fever goes down. Possibly. Maybe. I hope I don't get sick. Wednesday, everybody. We are about an hour already into office work. So I had to upload. I got some of my. I had to upload files uh, because also fun little tidbit about my week. That drive's not working. The USB isn't working. The flash drive card on my Mac Air isn't working. I mean, Peter's like 10 years old. 
Little half day, little girl still sick. Um, I, I've noticed uptick in like this is this week, next week, a lot of closings. Uh, we usually see at the beginning of March into February uh, contracts that went under contract mid January to the beginning of February, uh, where we start seeing uptick in activity. So seasonally, we just start seeing a lot more activity, a lot more closings uh, here as we head into March. So that's keeping busy with paperwork, processing it as process like three checks for agents, and yeah, this vlog. I want to give I want to give you guys a little bit of value some 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 things I'm seeing. Okay, I'm gonna set you down. What I'm seeing we got it. We we do need to be careful when when we're pricing listings, when we're working with buyers, when we're looking at like negotiation room, just market value and appraised values that are coming in. We're in that type of market where I think for the I think for the next 12 24 months it's probably gonna be weird. Let's even say just like next you know 10 months of this year. It's going to be kind of weird because um, we're going to have perceived values from sellers and and media and everybody talking about it's a seller's market. We're going to have buyers still wanting to get deals and still wanting to try and you know beat down the price, and we have banks that are worried that the prices are going to escalate too quickly. So they are kind of almost controlling what they're lending, and and appraisers are trying to. I don't think they're doing this on purpose, but they're just they're limited. Like, there's no way it could appreciate that fast. But when you have two parties, a seller wants to sell, a buyer that wants to buy, and they're willing to pay the price, and they think the value is there, um, it's really hard because then the appraisal's got to come back, and we're having a lot more of that. I really predict you're going to see a lot more of that over the next 10 months where appraisals don't match contract price. Lenders don't want to lend over that or try to correct the appraisal uh, to keep to their risk mitigation down. Um, and we're going to have buyers and sellers that are either having to renegotiate contracts or really um you know trying to figure out what is market value so i don't have a solution for that i'm just telling you that that's what the market is so we do want to get ahead of it we do want to educate uh you know sellers not to be astronomical and thinking that there's been 10 percent appreciation in two months even if the demand's there or the inventory's low uh, buyers the same way we don't want them you know going crazy with low offers and realizing that there is a limited supply of inventory so that we actually do have a, a, a seller's market, they're not as uh, negotiable on certain things, but being aware that appraisals can affect your contract offer price. Just communication, communication, communication. We're talking a lot about in a core value series that we're doing um, on the podcast, on our flash briefing. I think commu over communication is going to win in this market. All right, I gotta finish this before my half day is up. <laughs>